Hello, YouTubers. It's Travis. Welcome back for more History of Draft action. Today, we are revisiting Ravnica Allegiance, which had the other five guilds in it that we were kind of missing from Guilds of Ravnica. A lot of fun mechanics. We found a guild pretty early and I think drafted a good deck. And the meme kind of continues of will Travis ever win a draft in his own tournament series? I'll let you guys uh, stay tuned to find out. If you're enjoying the content here, please do consider subscribing. We'll have Kamigawa videos coming up soon, uh, and that'll give you an alert when those go live, as well as the other videos for Storybook Fall and anything else I do here. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the old school draft. And with that, welcome to Ravnica Allegiance. I remember liking this a lot. It was a combat trick and six damage to a flyer, okay? This was a set, huh? None of these look busted to me. Pack doesn't look great. That kind of looks bad. Kind of looks bad. There's not a first pickable card. Let's start with Scorch Mark or uh, Collision, I guess, is kind of where I'm left. I reckon I'll go with the Collision. It works. It's not terrible. I thought it was warm enough that I did my space heater on, but it isn't, and I do. I'm by Guild Mage wasn't bad, but Chillbringer was like the best card in a set, right? Like, can I really second pick a Chill Chillbringer? Because I feel like I kind of can. It's not actually as open as you would be in a normal set. It's like it's not like I'm gonna pair it with, you know, red. But I like Chillbringer a lot. There's solid commons in this pack. There's also the Combine Guild Mage, which I liked a good bit too. But yeah, I'm taking Chillbringer. I really like this card. Hermonculus was really good too. Maybe I'm just doing Simic things. There's another Aranx, which was good. This thing's not bad either. But like, I, I, I actually like the common better. These were basically, this one's basically not really playable. Like, okay, I, I, we'll see, we'll see. It'd be neat to do that because I could still have the sideboarded plummet out of our first pick. I remember flying being great. This is the one that had the 2-2 two -two that you could turn into a 6-6. Six -six. That card was a house. That's the one. That was a common. I played Biogenic Upgrade some. I don't know that I like it here. The three mana clone. Three mana clone for my dude only. Seems pretty good with like Chillbringers and Aramonculuses. Yeah, I'd probably play this by too. 
I'm just like, clone that has to clone one of my dudes actually doesn't seem that bad. So I'm going to take that. It's basically a three drop creature. I just have to have a creature. Self only clone kind of sucks, but like if I'm going to be in this color pair, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Well, the Spy is good if you had a lot of Adapt stuff or Riot stuff and you could give it flying and use it as like a falter effect. Like, it played better with Riot cards than it did Adapt cards, interestingly. Gotta figure out something to do to get this to stop hurting long enough to be able to stream reasonably. I'm just mono three drop uh, Simic, but I'm down with that. I can go engineer into Chillbringer and we can take expensive crap now too. This is just kind of drafting itself. I feel like nobody's taking Simic cards, so I'll take them. Obosh? I don't remember what that is. What was Obosh? Oh, that's the odd cast and call Sicoria, dude. <laughs> I see what you're talking about. But I was going to say we can start taking two, two drops, but applied biomancy was really, really good. So I'm taking that. I, I, I doubt that we main deck the collision, but the rest of this looks fine. I do need twos and sixes, but... I seem to remember liking um, Sphinx's Insight quite a bit, and I also didn't hate the Rindhorn. Uh, but there's a guild gate for our, our color, so I, I think we do this. The Rindhorn was the type of thing I wanted with the Spy, right? Because you could just slam it down as a 5-5 flying, and it's like, what? What? Fuck all. I don't actually want any of this, but if we have to play one, I'll take this one. Open the gates allows for a potential splash. Whereas Growth Spiral is just like a thing you can play. I think where we are now, I take the open the gates. Like I could play it over forest anyway. It's possible we want to play something like this Frenzied Aranx, which was pretty good. If literally no one else is going to take them. Like, I've doubled down so hard on Simic, we're not moving into Gruul, even though it looks open-ish. This was... Look at top four, you can put a... Yeah, you had to put the land on top. They didn't actually draw a card, but it, it's a two-drop, it's fine. It's 
Court's actually not particularly good. Unless you just want a Goblin Piker, at which point it's it's really good at doing that. I played Stony Strength a good bit. I remember playing that some. Yoinks. In this case, you ooze, you win. That was one of the b, -b, -b bombs of the format. I will quite happily pick that. The feel to open a bomb on color, skillful. Feels like magic. Sometimes you open the on color bomb, sometimes your opponents do. You still gotta play the games out. Like, I've certainly done drafts where I got trash and then got ran over by stuff like this, so I don't feel bad about it at all. Oh. Saratok was pretty good. Arrestor's Admonition was at least something you could do for interaction. Because we're not really going to get removal. I like the Sky Guard a lot, but that's just not what we're, where we are. I, I don't know that we need this Erynx and open the gates. I feel like I'm kind of okay on big things. I, I'm going to take the interaction here. I did not get a chance to see it standard, but it does not surprise me that there was a a bomb laden deck in double feature. I don't think it's quite fair to compare that style of deck to like this though, because like there's three rares in the pack or whatever. They should all look bomb like they should all look like that, right? Do we know what time uh, Neo will be out? I do plan to draft some Neo. I might just take the other Simic Guild Gate here. I'll, I'll probably check it out tomorrow afternoon. I'll probably start with Storybook Brawl because I, I don't want to play anything else. I, I definitely do want to draft Neo. Neo. I will not be playing it on Magic Online. play a Simic Locket too. That's fine. I just like, right now I don't really feel like I need to splash anything. I still do need some twos, but I really want them to be Sorrowfang hybrids, but I may not get them. Yeah, I don't hate the Guildgate either, but like, I can just put a Plains in here if, if I need to splash and just get it with Open the Gates. Like, it gets basics. I'm taking this in the guild gate because we want to be able to slam the ooze and start activating it. So, like, mana fixing even in a two-color deck in this format was very useful. I could play this. It's an 8-drop, but I'm already playing um, a Gyre Engineer and a Simic Lockout. I don't think this is insane.
it just redid my sorting for me. That's nice. Just need some two drops. This is fine. Got a strong feeling we're getting the ramp, dude. <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna open up another Biogenic Ooze and then get past one. I did some stuff with Junk Crawler back in the day and I remember liking this a lot too, but I'm gonna take the Gruel Guild Gate. It'd be pretty easy to fit a red splash in. I remembered there being pretty okay two drops for Simic. We just hadn't really seen any of them. Not supposed to be in there. Neither are you. I remember Skitter Eel. I like Skitter Eel quite a bit. Oh, I was counting this as a three, which is a bit ambitious. Realistically, that's fair. Don't really need another uh, five. That's really the best card for us, so I'm going to take it. I don't mind not having a lot of fours. We've got two cards that want us to just skip right over it. All right. Didn't expect that to come back. This thing was all right. So pick up a couple two drops. We're good to go. We're not getting removal, but like they're really, I don't remember there being great removal in this color pair. Never really cared for this thing. I could sort of see playing Regenesis. Maybe. Maka, maka, maka. Yeah, pack one was better than pack two. But that means pack three should be really good. I played that some too, but I feel like I don't need multiple combat tricks. Renan was right, we got a gatebreaker realm. I think I'm passing it. If I really wanted to, I could play a Gruel Guild Gate and have three. But I kind of don't care. I just need two drops to not die. Because 
It's like this was good with like five gates. Meh, I can still give it a try. Like the card was was potentially powerful. If I can pick up two more gates, I'll be really happy with it. And like I should be able to wheel a two drop or at least find one a little lighter. The Gate Colossus too, which is funny. Let's see, what does this do? This is a 4-4 or just punch something. So I can take literally our first removal spell that's nice and easy to cast, or a Gate Colossus, or a Gate. This is a tough one. I think I need to Thresh a little more. Yeah, I've already, I've got, I've got the big stuff. I don't need more big stuff. remember liking this for card draw. The problem is I've kind of got Regenesis if I need that. Like I want to just take the gate and I want the uh, Gyre Engineer. Nah, I've got enough playables. I can take the gate. It's probably a great deal more fun to, to draft with people. When I played it uh, on Arena, there were only bot drafts. And the bots wouldn't take gates. So it was basically everybody had turn four gate Colossus and it was really boring. So what are we going to do about this two drop problem? Just ignore it? Apparently, apparently that's what I'm going to do. I have enough gates now. I don't have to go nuts over gates. Maka, maka, maka. Yeah, I'm not currently planning on playing that. Duelist was not playable, sadly. If I put it in this deck, it would be the first time I ever played it. Pardon me. Okay, cool. That's what the red's for. Now we can bring it open the gates. I have a suspicion that Gruul is actually what was open, but I had people drafting that didn't know, perhaps didn't know what's good in Simic. And so ended up passing me most of it. At this point, I'm ready to go for the sneak. I do still have a, a real two drop problem, so I'm hoping some of them wheel. There must be someone who has a deck that's all green two drops. I don't quite know what they're doing with it.
Persistent Partitioners, eh? Welcome to my team. Excited to see you. If I play this, I just don't need to uh, open the gates, which is nice because I don't want that. Although if I did, I could play this, but I don't know that I want to splash for it. We'll have the option to bring it in. Territorial boar. I've never been so happy to see a boar. What two drop problem? You have a two drop problem. Is our gruel better than our Simic? I mean, why wouldn't we just play both? I sometimes had a good time with a Beastmaster. We might bring that in if we want to be more aggressive. Most of what the Simic is adding is evasion, which was a great way to close out a game in this format, and a little bit of ramp. If I cut the Gyre Engineer, I really can't play the Faux Runners. I don't think I'm looking to run the Gateway Plaza. But I might actually want that against somebody who had a bunch of flyers. Same here, I've got a better seven, but or eight. Excuse me. But that's a reasonable question to ask. I'm just asking questions. I see someone just followed. Actually, it was a while ago. They may not even still be here, but their Twitch name was Mafungo. And I think that's the name of the delicious stuff I ate in Puerto Rico. Oh my God, it was so good. And I just now noticed their name and want some of it. Yeah. It was like mashed plantains fried up. It's real good. All right, let me get this sorted. All right, let's see what we're working with here. So I think this is about what I want. basically have to use Ravnica lands, I think. It, it would seem kind of rude not to. Let's make sure we're using lands from Ravnica. This gives me four, five, six, seven. I guess war counts too. Oh, they're kind of all messed up. These are in a weird order and I don't like it. No, I guess they're not in a weird order. Where were the original Ravnica ones? I just missed them. And that's all there are. Okay, we'll work with that. Four, seven, eight, nine. And then I could do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I do have room for a mountain. That's pretty cool. All right. This looks pretty good to me.
Let's take it out for a party. I need appropriately Ravnican sleeves. They really didn't start doing the sleeves until later. Oh, I'm going to have the best Ravnica sleeves. That's what I'm doing. All right. Let's go win an event. All right. Round one is the me game mechanic. We're going to see if we can defeat Mike. You guys should watch his content too. Go give him a follow. And tell him Simulan sent you. Not too bad. One, two, three, four. I can actually make that work. Now that we know that it's on the way. That's all we're doing. I kind of got to figure out a way to deal with that. I always bounce a lighter. this to be back for blocks. I'm looking at taking too much damage here. I don't want to let him double block it with the three ones. If he's going to put stuff in the air off of the oligarch. I'm actually kind of okay with that. These are the blocks I think we were looking for. He's all about that Air Force. This is permanence, right? Okay. I 
I think I need to just blind bounce one of the flyers. I don't have a whole lot of time to play around with here. insane because I got a lot of flyers but not enough flyers no way he does anything here right I can't kill him the flying and the life gain together was a bit much for me Because we certainly dealt 20 points of damage, it just wasn't enough. So we've got two Aramonculuses and a um, Chillbringer. I definitely want to bring in my Gruel Flyer Hate spell and take out Stony Strength. We just are never going to need that. So Collision's looking really good. I don't think the Wayfinder matters. So I'm kind of digging this. Hey, what's up, TB? It's not back. We do a series every week where we draft through all of the old sets that were on MTG Arena. If you'd like to play, you're invited. It's always Wednesdays at three. Uh, it's other, mostly other streamers I'm playing with. Uh, the game mechanic is good people. Uh, but we do this every Wednesday at three. War of the Spark is next week. If you want in, I'll hold you a spot. I'll follow Teal Baron too. I hadn't seen you streaming lately. But he, should he start up again, you'll want to watch it. Maybe I just hadn't been looking at the right times. Since this is my event, I really want to win that first round. I don't want to get knocked out by Mike right now. That's fair, man. That's fair. Let's show Mike what our deck can do by mulliganing on the play with just absurd mythics in hand. I like that plan. Ooh. Magic is really not trying to sell me on this idea, y'all. I do have some double greens. I don't have a lot of double blues. Well, it, it's difficult for me to remember these formats without remembering a lot of the problems that Arena had at the time, uh, because you couldn't actually draft in Arena. You had to do this weird sort of pseudo draft thing with bots. And I, I very much didn't care for that. Hand smoothing is not in uh, best of three draft, best of three gameplay, which is one of the main reasons why I play it. But I think overall the format was very fun. There were some issues with the bots. You got a lot of just same game syndrome where you ended up playing the same game over and over and over.
And as like someone who drafts a lot, I typically don't like the Ravnica sets. They sort of force you into a five color pair paradigm. But this one wasn't bad. This is four to adapt, right? It's kind of not ideal because it's going to start attacking me and I really don't want it to. I need to undo this mulligan even if it costs me five life. Well, Desi popularized them, but like the reason they could exist was because of the bot problem. I'm having fun drafting it here though and playing against friends. I just sometimes get frustrated with some of the mechanics of magic. Like it sucks to mold a five. That's all I can get through with. I think we're happy. I gotta have a... I have a four power creature, which I don't currently. I could adapt this, which feels pretty good. Or I could hold it up and buy back these two, which sets up for a really good Flames of the Rays bore, which I think is what I want to do here. So that leaves me taking five, six, seven, eight. And then I would, I, I, I may not have a choice but to kill the three, two now. 
Because it's a lot of damage coming in that I can't stop. And the plan would then be to regenesis this the next turn and replay it. Ideally, both of the flyers. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think I actually have enough time to wait. Life total is just too low. We want to see him crack this. So that's really good news. I think he's got a removal spell that bodes poorly for us. This is just here to be a two drop, so I don't get run over by aggro dags. It doesn't, it, it's just a one three. It could in theory do something if the games go long enough, but. Okay. Kind of sucks because the M. Okay. It's just a 4-5. Okay. I'm good with that. I mean, I say I'm good with that. I'm not actually good with that. I still think he has a removal spell. He's playing like he did a few turns ago. I forgot the Lumbering Battlement can just be a 5 mana 4 5 Vigilance, which is pretty good. Sucks, but it's gotta be done. There was the removal spell. We sensed it. 
And it was our doom. It was our doom. That was a good game, though, and a fun draft. We ended up having more trouble with flyers than I really anticipated we would. Well, that was a mold of five. It's really difficult to win on a mold of five on the play. Like, it, it kind of doesn't matter what you're doing. We had a lot of ways to recoup card advantage, right? Like, and we had time to do things. We were able to sacrifice the Simic Locket and cast the Regenesis. It just, it didn't line up. And I, like, we knew he was sitting there with a, a removal spell from a while ago and just couldn't really do anything about it. Uh, so I, I don't think that's necessarily that we drafted poorly. Uh, Mike certainly seemed to have drafted well. Uh, it's just that, like, sometimes magic works out where you don't actually get to play the game. But that works. Now we can go play another game. And a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you, Paul, Punk, Hero, Joe, Jesse, Jacob, Scott, Basti, Rich, Brandon, John, and Jazzy. I appreciate y'all. <laughs>